Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing great today. So my name is Misha de Guzman. I am an architect, master plumber, and a creative director. So I am here to discuss to you some of the tips on how to study building utilities for your upcoming architectural licensure exam. So for a little background about me, I graduated high school in St. Scholastica's Academy, Marikina, and then I took architecture in University of Santo Tomas. It was a five-year course with the required summer semesters in between. So basically, we barely had any summer vacations for a very long time. And then uh, the schedule was pretty rough. Like sometimes we had Monday to Saturday schedules. And ang pinakamahirap pa dun is minsan, ang uwi ko is 9 p.m. Tapos meron pa akong two-hour commute kasi hindi ako nag-dorm from first year to fifth year. So nag-commute ako from Manila to Antipolo Rizal. So, minsan 2 hours inaabot yung biyahe ko, nakaka-uwi ako ng 10 or 11 p.m. And then, I have to do plates pa when I get home. And then, ang masaklap dun is minsan ang klase ko nagsistart ng 7 a.m. So, I have to get up at, at like 5 or 4. So, that is something that I really struggled with in college. But, I really had fun, especially in architecture. Uh, I joined various organizations, events, and I even became a student council director for videography. So I graduated in 2017. I applied to be a junior architect in a small firm in Martina. And then later on that year, I switched to another company, another small firm. So in both companies, I focused mainly on architectural interiors. detailing, and mentoring OJPs. So, di ba kailangan natin ng two-year apprenticeship experience before we apply for the architectural licensure exam? So, dahil doon, 2019 ako nakapag-finish ng required hours, and then I decided to take up the board exam that year. Mga, I think I chose, I chose the June board exam. So when I was looking at the information, uh, schedule, and requirements for the architectural board exam, I noticed that the master plumbing board exam is only like less than a week away. So I thought, maybe I should try taking it. Major risky siya kasi hindi ako makakapag-review ng maayos for the plumbing exam. But since meron naman plumbing subjects sa Archie, I thought of taking the risk. And then, alam mo, di ba, mapas ako. So, when I was working, I enrolled myself in three review classes. So, una I see that. And then, nag-JPT ako after that. And then, for the refresher course, I enrolled in Centro Arquitectura. And, napansin ko that, other than history, kasi yung favorite ko talaga, history talaga, I noticed na, Parang ang interesting din ng building utilities. So, ayun. I focused extra on building utilities, especially plumbing. Kasi nga, mag-board exam din ako ng master plumber. So, I gave it more time and I really enjoyed it. So, I spent sleepless nights memorizing and understanding the topics by heart. And then, me and my friends made a book. Para lang makumpile namin yung mga like, main topics about the architecture board exam. And then, we also combined the potential questions. <laughs> and then, ayan, we made a book about that. And then, we reviewed that. And I'll, I'll be sharing you some of the contents of that book today. So, ayan, di ba, magkalapit lang yung board exam. I took the architecture board exam first, and then pag, uh, every time na umuwi ako, aral agad. Kahit after ng board exam na yun, aral agad ako because I don't have time to celebrate or whatever kasi nga, I have plumbing pa. Tapos, 
uh, right in between Archie and Plumbing Board Exam, I received the news that I passed Archie Board Exam. So, sobrang saya namin nun. Nag-aaral pa ako ng plumbing nun. Tapos, narinig ko yung news na yun. Saglit lang ako nag-celebrate, tapos aaral ulit. And then, nataon birthday ko ng plumbing board exam. So, hindi rin ako masyado nakapag-celebrate. Kain lang with family. And then, ano na, aral, aral na ulit. So, iyon Sobrang happy ko nun kasi pasado na ako sa RQ. Parang extra na lang pag napasa ko yung plumbing, di ba? So, ang nangyari is, after ko mag-take ng plumbing board exam, uh, gusto ko na mag-distress. So, nag-travel ako to Bicol. And then, Pumunta kami ng Sorsogon. And then, while nasa bus ako, tinaga ko ng friend ko sa isang post saying na pumasa din ako sa plumbing board exam. So, I'm like, what? Oh my gosh! Napasa ko sila both. So, yun, sobrang happy ko. I told my mom na I passed both exams. And then, they were so happy for me. And I can't wait to go home to celebrate with my friends. And then, yun, parang... My mom works abroad kasi, so she had to get home here. So, naging sulit yung pag-uwi niya kasi dalawa yung pupuntahan niya oath-taking. Ang nakakatawa pa is yung oath-taking is on the same day, pareho. Yung morning for architects uh, sa PICC siya ginanap, and then yung hapon for master plumbers. It's around Manila din, so parang mabilis lang, din-drive lang namin yun. Kaya yan, wala akong masyadong magandang picture sa PICC kasi nga, nagmamadali kami makapunta dun sa plumbing oath-taking. So, yan lang yung pictures ko. <laughs> so, other than that, I'm also a traveler. And I travel around the Philippines and around Asia to experience their culture and, of course, to see architectural marvels. So now, kakagawa ko lang ng own design firm ko. It's called Dimensions Creative Studio. I provide architectural, master plumbing, and other creative services. I make plumbing plans for Maharlika Land properties, and I make designs for a Dutch company, and I also perform uh, creative services for politicians and a veteran actor. So, other than that, so other than my studio, I also have a small business and I am taking up an extra mural class in the University of the Philippines Diliman for European languages, French, and I am taking up architectural imagination certificate degree at Harvard University and Age of Cathedrals at Yale University. Tapos kakatapos ko lang din ng certificate degree for historical architecture um, focusing on Egypt and University of Pennsylvania. So yeah, that's the summary of my career and I hope it's an inspiring story in some way. So let's start discussing building utilities. So you know that BT is divided into a few parts. So my plumbing, electrical, lighting, acoustics, and, me and mechanical systems. Pero most of that focuses on plumbing so mas marami discuss ko doon. I know sa plumbing pa lang, nakaka-overwhelm na yung pipe sizes, materials, and uses. So, I would make some suggestions on how to make your review easier. Okay, so let's start with plastic pipes. So, this is how we did it. So, we divided it in a table para madali nyo ma-differentiate yung pipes. So, for example... PVC pipe. Ilalagay nyo yung name under the pipe and then put a basic info about it. A short description. Just like it is the it is a first developed plastic pipe. And then after that, ilalagay nyo yung uses niya, which are D, DWD, cold water, hot water, water main, subsoil drainage, and other things. After that, ilalagay nyo yung jointing niya, which is solvent, weld, rubber ring, compression ring. Its diameter, its length, and the colors that it comes in. So, you'll do that to the pipes, PVC, CPVC, ABS, PE, and so on. And you also have to remember what 
the acronym means, okay? And then you have to do that to metal pipes as well. So, it differentiate niya yung plastic pipes sa metal pipes. And also, create another table for the pipes that aren't plastic or metal, such as concrete pipe, lead, asbestos, clay, and bituminous fiber sewer pipe. And then, another table for the fitting. So, do it like this. Una, fitting. And make sure you put the an image of the fitting. Kasi minsan yun ang lumalabas sa board exam. Yung, ano lang, yung picture. Then you have to guess ko anong fitting yun. So, the picture of the fitting. What type it is. So, elbow, L-type. Yung degree niya. And then, a short description about it. So, it is used to change the direction of a supply pipe. And then, its uses. And then, kung anong material siya. So, minsan plastic siya, minsan metal. And then, do that to the other fittings as well. So, street elbow, T, straight T, redu reducing T, sanitary T, and so on. And then... And then, you should note... The nipple, it is not a fitting. It is, it is a short piece of pipe that has male threads on both ends. So, sinama lang namin sa chart yan, but, it, but you have to remember that it's not a fitting. And then, another table for jointing. So, this is how we did it. So, for example, solvent cement, and then its process. So, fusing pipes together by a chemical agent. And then, ko anan type siya. So, minsan PVC siya, minsan CPVC siya. And then, do that with the rest, like heat fusion, electrofusion, caulking, and hobless joint, fair joint, and so on. You have to remember that kung ano yung ginagamit sa caulking. So, lead and oakum. You have to remember that. Yeah, and then, uh, the minimum sizes of the pipe. So, for water supply, it's half inch. Drainage is one and a half inch. Vent is half inch also. Building horizontal drain, three-fourth inch. Pole drain, um, two inches. And pipe speed is 25 millimeters. So, take note kung sino din nagsusupply ng pipes. For example, Belden pipes, super pipes, crown pipes, and moldex pipes. So, you ha also have to remember and memorize kung paano yung water supply system. So, you have to start just a water main and then it's connected with a saddle clamp. And then, you have to remember it step by step until makapunta siya sa water meter. So, yan yung service tap connection detail. You have to be familiar also kung ano yung description ng Water supply system, a feed system, um, what else? The sizes of the fixture supply pipes. So, um, for example, water closet. The tank type, it is 3 eighths of an inch. Water closet that uses flushometer, 1 half inch. Lavatory is 3 eighths inch as well. Bathtub is half an inch, shower is half an inch, kitchen sink, laundry also half an inch, hose bib is half an inch to three fourth inch, drinking fountain is five eighths of an inch, urinal flash valve is three fourth of an inch. Yeah, that's something that you need to memorize. And then, The parts of a water closet, so important din yan. You have to memorize each part. Kasi, minsan magbibigay sila ng picture and you have to fill it up kung anong part yan, anong part to. And also, yung setting, kung saan mo ilalagay yung water closet. Pag, sen pag center to center siya, pag kunyari, ano siya, uh, sa restroom ng mall, center to center, ang space niya is dapat a minimum is 750 millimeters. Pag side wall to center, 375 millimeters. Pag back wall to center, palikod, to center, it's 300 mm to 400 mm. 
And then, kung ilan din ang gallons per flush ng standard standard toilets, high efficiency, high efficiency toilets, and dual flush. You need to remember that as well. So, you have to also familiar, familiarize kung ano yung difference ng mga flush ng toilets. Kasi, ipapakita din nila yung diagram kung anong water closet yon and kailangan yung isipin kung wash down ba siya, reverse strap, siphon jet, siphon vortex. Yeah. And then, familiarize also with the inside of the flush tank. Um, other fixtures you have to know. Um, yung mga types ng urinal. Wall hung, stall type, pedestal, trough. And then, types of sink. Slop sink, bidet, the other sinks. And then, calorie fixtures. Kitchen sink, bar sink, scrub sink. Like to know that as well. And the types of counter topping. Like, yung flush, self-rimming, tsaka under counter. I think lalabas yun. Also, you need to take note of this one. Pag water closet lang yun nasa loob ng isang um, toilet or comfort room, it's called a one-fourth bath. Pag water closet and lavatory, one-half bath siya. Pag water closet, lavatory, and shower, three-fourths of a bath siya. And then, pag water closet, lavatory, shower, and bathtub, one bath na siya. Kinds of valves then, you have to know most of them, especially gate valve, globe valve, and angle valve. I think ipapakita yung pictures, so kailangan nyo alamin kung ano ba siya, kung globe valve ba siya, or gate valve. So, memorize nyo itsula ng mga valves na yan. Butterfly valve, diaphragm valve. Uh, types of pumps then, you need to know that. Piston pump, uh, duplex twin piston pump, rotary pumps, jack pumps. So I think for the pumps, ibibigay lang nila yung description or magbibigay sila ng situation. And you have to guess kung anong pumps ang kailangan gamitin dun. Centrifugal pumps, turbine pumps, submersible pumps, some pumps. I think laging suking-suki yung sump pump na yan. Kailangan niya alamin yan. Also, yung diagram niya. Here. It is used sa elevator pits para ma-ensure na walang water na naiipon dun. Sump pump ang gamit dun. So, sewer system. Kailangan niya rin i-memorize kung paano ba dumadalo yung sewer from your fixtures. Tsaka kung paano nakakonek yung vent system sa kanya. So, yung, yung mga may gustong mag-take ng plumbing board exam, focus on this kasi laging lumalabas to sa plumbing board exam. etong connection ng sewer system tsaka vent system. Pwede kayong gumawa ng table din. Sa fixture, yung F, FU niya, which is fixture unit, and then, and then yung trap and arm size niya. So, for example, for the bathtub, ang fixture unit niya is 2, and ang trap and arm size niya is 38 mm and 1 and 1 half. Yeah, so, make sure you do that to the other fixtures as well. And then familiarize yourself with the terms, such as drainage system, waste pipe, soil pipe, clean out, especially clean out. They also ask about backflow and back siphonage, I think gagawin nilang tricky yung question about that. So, make sure you know about that. And then, uh, cesspool, you have to know that as well. And then, you have to know that ang distance ng water supply well from a septic tank is 15.20. Ang distance niya from a disposal field is 30.50. And ang distance niya from a cesspool is 45.70. Yan, and then septic. Kailangan nyo i-memorize yung, like, ano ba yung nasa loob nun? Kailangan nyo alamin yun. Which is, yan, yung sludge, yung scum, yung inner baffle, yung outlet and inlet, kasi ipapaname yung parts na yan. And then... Yung sizes, sobrang important ng sizes ng 
vaults ng septic tank. And then the kinds of traps. Also important din to, P-trap most especially. Papakita yung, di yung picture ng P-trap and you have to name the components or the parts of it. So, yan. And then, I think magbibigay sila ng situation. And then, ano, ko, ano ba dapat trap ang kailangan mong gamitin doon? Grease trap ba? Drum trap? P-trap? Stand trap? Oil interceptor? Yun. You have to know that. You, know, you have to know the difference and the uses of the traps. And then, pipe supports. So, I think for this one, you have to know kung ano itsura. Because, because I think by photo nila ipapakita to and you have to guess kung anong type of clamp siya. And also, please know the difference as well kung saan siya ginagamit. And then the types of vents. So, ano bang ginagamit na vent for this type of fixture? So, you need to know that as well. Pag back-to-back siya, anong type ba ng vent? Kailangan dyan, unit vent. Tapos kung saan ba ginagamit yung loop vent? Ang loop vent, ginagamit siya sa mga fixtures na hindi nakadikit sa wall. For example, kitchen island. So, kailangan ng loop vent doon kasi wala siyang kakabitan na wall. So, iikot siya pa baba. Then, i-attach siya sa nearest wall. Yeah, so, you also need to know the difference of SVTR and VSTR. So, mainly, pareho silang tumatagos sa roof, but the main difference nila is ang SVTR is connected siya sa soil or waste stack. Like scupper, uh, zern roof drain, mesa roof drain, just familiarize yourself with it. And then fire prevention system. So, um, I think ipapa-differentiate kung ano ba yung wet standpipe from a dry standpipe. And then, you also have to know the manually operated standpipe system and Siamese connection. I think lumabas yung Siamese connection. So, also, kailangan nyo alamin and i-memorize ko na itsura ng mga, ano, ng mga fire sprinkler system. Pendant, Recessed pendant, concealed pendant, upright, conventional. Minsan nakakalito siya kasi pictures ang papakita nila. So, kailangan meron kayong distinctive, distinctive na quality niya natatandaan para hindi kayo malito. Um, and then yung spacing niya. So, area covered by one head is 12 square meters. So, ang distance between... Two heads ng no sprinkler system is 4 meters. Um, distance from wall to ceiling ng no mount, no mounted head is 2 meters. And distance between head and the same room is 2 meters as well. Yan. And then the color code. So, bonus questions. So, baka lang mabas to sa board exam. So, bibigay ko sa inyo yung question. And then, find out ko na yung sagot dyan. So, Number one, what treats hard water? Yan, research about that. And then, question number two, what is the minimum lead content in pipes? And then, question number three, what fixture has an integrated pump? So, research kung ano yan, kasi baka luwa pa sa board exam yan. And then, part two, electrical. So for electrical, mainly you have to memorize the description. For example, ano ba yung electricity, ano yung static electricity, and ano ba yung thermoelectricity. So you also have to know this. So on piezoelectricity, it is pressure and heat. Photoelectricity, light siya. Magnetoelectricity, magnetic field. And then... You have to know the basic uh, conversions, like 1 kilowatt is 1,000 watts, of course. 1 megawatt is a million watts. 1 watt is 1 joule per second. And you also have to know this. So, I is current. A is amperes. 
E stands for voltage, V stands for volts, and R stands for resistance or ohm. And so here are some of the equations. And you also have to know the type of currents. So alternating current and direct current. So know the diagram and know the difference. So an electric current flowing at one direction only, direct current yan. But an electric current that reverses its direction many times as a second and an electric current that reverses its direction many times, yun yung alternating current. And then know the meaning of resistance, impedance, and familiarize yourself with the riser diagram. And also know kung paano dumadalo yung electricity sa bahay. Yan. And then... Also know the types of service engines, so underground service and overhead service. Take note that the standard frequency of power supplied by the by Maralco is 60 cycles. Just take note of that. The types of panel board, LP is lighting panel boards, PP is power or, or motor panel boards, MDP or DP is main distribution panel boards. And so, you also have to know the basic sources of electricity. So, ang pinaka-basic is, of course, battery and a generator. So, kailangan natin alamin ko ng difference ni AC and DC generator. So, yeah, research about that. Ang AC generators, para siya sa power and lighting. And DC generates, generators, ginagamit siya for elevators, escalators, intercommunicating telephone system, signal system, and clock systems. So, ayan, naglagay na rin ako ng example ng power-producing plants, such as fossil fuel plant, geothermal plant, nuclear plant, natural gas plants, uh, hydroelectric energy, biomass plant, wind turbine farm, solar farm, and hybrid system. So, I think may konting lalabas about that. So, you need to know the difference lang. You also have to know the meaning of converter, which is a device changing AC to DC, or vice versa. And then rectifier, a device composed of one or more diodes that converts AC to DC. Yeah, so you need to know that. And just for example, ito yung good conductors. Uh, best is gold and silver. Next is copper and aluminum. Good lang siya. And fair conductors are steel, iron, other metals, and salt water. So yeah, salt water is a good conductor. Well, fair conductor. <laughs> and then insulators. So good insulators are glass, porcelain, dry wood, paper, plastic, and rubber. So minsan ng pure water is kind of an insulator as well. It's fair. And then take note of this. Ito yung standard sizes of wire but ito yung mostly lalabas ang um, circuit line is number 12 size number 12 ang um, switch line is size number 14 you also have to know the meaning of a wire it is a pliable metallic strand often insulated with dielectric material used as a conductor of electricity and so also the meaning of cable capacitor and capacitor thermoplastics just familiarize with it Kinds of thermoplastics and kinds of thermosettings. So, ito baka lumabas to, yung insulation codes for the electric wires. Um, yan, RHH is thermoset. Ang, I think ang lumabas is one of these. XHHW ata, yung naalala ko. Which is moisture resistant thermoset. So, Di ko alam po lalabas dyan for you guys, so paki-aral na lang po. And then, ayan, the different cables, so kailangan nyo rin to alamin. And by pictures, kasi pictures lalabas to. RJ11 cable, which is a telephone cable. Um, CAT5 cable, is a computer network cable. RG59, which is a coaxial cable. 
Yan. Yan tatlong yan. Very important. So, what else? I think for this one, it's a situation. Magbibigay sila ng uh, example. And ano ba dapat raceway or cable bus ang kailangan mo gamitin? So, you need to know the uses of surface metal raceways, underfloor raceways, cellular metal floor raceways, precast cellular concrete floor raceways, full access floor, busway or bus dock, and bus or bus bar. So, by situation yan lalabas. At least for us. <laughs> so, baka ganun din sa inyo. And then, the kinds of circuit boxes. So, utility box, junction box, pull box, panel board, and NEMA enclosure, uh, and RGB LED controller. So, I think Itatanong dyan, ano bang kailangan gamitin for this and that? So, you need, also need to know the uses. Um, just know the meaning of NEMA, which is National Electrical Manufacturers Association. So, yeah. And then you need to know the kinds of poles. Yan, yeah, single pole throw, single pole, single throw, single pole, double throw, and so on. The special types of switches, uh, yeah. Uh, it's good to know these things. And then, ito important to, the circuits. You should know the meaning of the circuit and the kinds of circuits. So, open circuit, closed circuit, short circuit, series, and parallel. So, I think by description yan, and you have to know kung ano ba yun, like baka sabihin. Uh, an uh, uninterrupted path that allows continuous flow of current through an electrical conduit. So, anong classing circuit yan? It's a closed circuit. So, yeah, you have to know it. You have to know those things. And then, uh, types of uses. Just familiarize yourself with that. Follow mo and then the telephone systems, the LAN and the WAN, local area network system and wireless area network systems. And then the security systems, CCTV, motion detectors, intrusion detectors, and scream alarms. Okay, so... Those are the important things for the electrical part of building utilities. So, ito na yung, ano, yung bonus questions for this part. So, question number one. What is the color designation for live wire? Yan, research yan. Question number two. What does the NEMA, the word NEMA, stands for? I think na mentioned ken kanina, just memorize it. And... Question number three, what is the standard length of electrical metal conduit? So, yun. Please research about that. And then part three, lighting. Okay, so wala, I mean, konti lang ang lighting. So, basically, you have to know the meaning of light and uh, the meaning of luminous flux. And then, please remember that one candle equals 12.50 lumens. Ayon, so remember that the unit of luminous flux is lumen. The term given to a quantity of luminous flux falling on unit area of a surface, illuminance yan, E sha, E, okay. and the luminous intensity emitted by a light source per unit area, it's Luminance. So, L siya. Yan, ito yung chart. And then, yan, para lang ma madali for you guys. So, nilagay ko na rin dito yung lamp efficacy. For incandescent, 18 to 4, 4 cent, 55 to 90. And so on. Lamp life, which is the lamp hours so for incandescent it's a thousand hours fluorescent eight thousand to fifteen thousand 
CFL is 8,000 to 12, and so on. Just read about it, try to remember it if you can, it's helpful. And then, color temperature. So for, I think this is quite important, magiging situa situational questions din to. So, so for restaurants, nightclubs, hotel lobbies, residences, and hospital bedrooms, um, gagamiting lighting is 300, no, I mean 3,000, which is warm. So for showrooms, general merchandise, work areas, classrooms, and gym, 3,500, which is moderate. For large office areas, hospital, public areas, gen and general commercial and industrial areas, for uh, 4,100 and use the cool one. Yeah. And then for daylight spaces, laboratories, clinics, control rooms, drafting and inspection rooms, and high-tech general merch, um, Ginagamit dyan is 5,000, so it's crisp, clean, and icy blue. And so, so know the types of lamps as well. And so, HPS, know the meaning of it. Ceramic or metal halide lamp, compact HID, tungsten halo halogen lamp. So, I think they will ask the, kung anong klaseng lamp ba siya, magbibigay sila ng description, and you need to know kung which of the lamp they're trying to describe. So, meron din mercury lamp, floodlight, CFL. Ito, by, ito sa mga part naman na to, kailangan yung alamin ko ano meaning na CFL, LED, and so on. So, ayan. T8, T10. So, familiarize yourself also with this. And the measurements. You need to know kung ano ba yung length ng mga yan kasi magkakaiba yan. Yeah, so also the diameter for T12 it's 1.5 inch diameter, T8 is 1 inch diameter, T5 is 0 0.625 inch diameter. So ito yung formula niya. Yan. And then please also know the types of downlight. So meron tayong double focus, wash lights, directional and air handling. So, you need to know kung saan sila ginagamit, okay? And then, um, the kinds of lighting. So, ito, medyo, I think, tricky to. Kasi magbibigay din sila ng situation. So, parang, for overall lighting, what, do you, what lighting ang gagamitin mo? Gagamitin mo is ambient. So, for Lighting in a room intended for the performance of a specific task, task lighting ang gagamitin natin. To use an illuminated features and display such as artwork, architectural features, retail displays, and signs, ang gagamitin doon is focal or accent lighting. Lighting intended as ornaments to the space such as chandeliers, scones, lanterns, pendants, and lamps, decorative lighting tao dyan. And then lighting system where 90 to 100 percent of the light input is directed to the ceiling and up to the walls of the room. So indirect lighting and tawag dyan. Nakikita natin yan sa ceiling. And then a type of lighting that provides illumination to special objects like sculptures, flower arrangements, etc. Specific lighting. And lighting or originating from a source not facing each other from as as from windows adjacent in walls, tau gen is cross lighting. And also know what egg rate means, egg crate. And, and this, I think talabasto. What is an air handling luminaire? So it is a luminaire passing air returning to the duct work system from the conditioned room. So yeah, I think lagging lumalabas yan. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so what affects light in a room? It's color. So yeah, that's the summary of lighting. So for your bonus questions. Yeah, and for your bonus question, number one, what do you call the lamp? What do you call the life expectancy of a lamp? I think I mentioned Kuyan Kanina. Question number two. What is the material used for filament in an incandescent bulb? 
Question number three. What is the range of a luminous flux for stairs? Yan. So, acoustics na tayo. So, for acoustics, you need to know the terms such as phon, sound absorption, wavelength, uh, sound sabin, sound diffraction, the word sound as well, pure tone, sine wave, microphone, sound intensity, refraction, frequency, and other stuff. So, basic descriptions, kasi ganun ang lalabas. Yan, you need to know what hertz means, what loudness means, noise, pitch, reverberation, echo, resonance. So for pitch, it is frequency, volume is power, loudness is amplification. So I noted this stuff just to help you guys. So the best material against echo, it's heavy curtain. For the um, best material for music room flooring is wood. For an office, it's carpet. For home theater, it's wood also. And best acoustical treatment for ceiling, if we got, if wala acoustical boards, it's gypsum. So acoustical materials. So it must be impermeable and porous. So yun yung description ng word na yan. So ito yung mga impermeable materials. So bricks concrete, CHB, glass, and wood. So for porous materials, acoustical tile, acoustical foam, acoustical blankets, fiberglass, insulation, yung loose insulation, like wool, um, carpets, and curtains, or fabrics. And so, ito yung itura na mga yan. You need to remember what I showed up kasi I think image yung lalabas. So, yan, acoustical baffles, foam baffle, bonded acoustical pad, low frequency sound absorber, melamine foam linear wedges, polyurethane foam sound absorber, porous expanded polypropylene rock wool. Yan. Yan, so, those are the essential things for... Acoustics, for bilis lang. So, for your bonus questions. So, what do you call a prolonged sound? That's your question number one. So, question number two. What is the sound sensation in a single frequency? And then, question number three. What is the transmission of a sound curved surface? So, please research about that. And then, part 5 na tayo. Last na. Mechanical systems. So, for mechanical systems, mainly nag-focus sila sa stuff like escalators, elevators, and so on. So, kailangan natin alamin kung ano ang basic descriptions ng escalator. So, it is a 35 degree. Yun yung inclination niya. So, alamin nyo rin yung parts niya. Like, 100 guard switches, disconnect switch, and knife switch. So, you need to know those stuff. And then, it's design standards. So, ang operating speed niya is 90 feet per minute. And then, ang kaya nun is 2,000 to 4,000 person per hour. Ang 120 feet per minute, ang kaya is 2,000 to 8,000 person per hour. Ang width niya is 32 inches or 0.82 meters or 48 inches or 1.25 meters. Ang slope is, again, 30 degrees. So, travelator system. They can be inclined and horizontal during travel. Best to have rest in intervals for proper movement. So, ang walkalator walk naman, ang maximum length niya is 250 meters. You also need to learn this parts, the driving machine, balustrade, endless belt, emergency brake, controller, and emergency stop button. Okay, then elevator na. So, 
Ayan, um, the width of a single slide door ng elevator is 0.60 minimum and 0.80 for PWD. So, two types of passenger elevators. One is electric, that's for high-rise, and then one is hydraulic, it's for low-rise to mid-rise. So, ayan, alamin din natin yung parts. So, may sheave, safety shoe, fascia plate, Circuit breaker, limit switches, weighing device, weigh, weigh, weighing device, hoist weigh, guide shoe, and then the elevator pit. Important yan. Buffer, brake, governor. You also need to take note that ang tawag do sa row of elevators is an elevator lobby or elevator back. So, a device that controls the elevator ang tawag dun, is control panel. And kailangan nyo rin i-familiarize yung sarili nyo kung ano yung elevator brand names kasi baka itanong dyan which one of these ang hindi elevator brand names. So, ito na, I'm giving them to you. Otis, Mitsubishi, Schindler, Fuji, Gold Star, Hyundai, Westinghouse, and Hitachi. So, ito yung chart for the elevator capacity in pounds. Yan, nandiyan ang maximum passenger capacity niya. And normal passenger load per trip. Yan, so. And then, take note that mechanical room has a minimal, minimum height clearance of 2.4 meters. And then, I inserted some information from PD-1096. And... And so, what else? Heat. So, you need to know the meaning of latent heat and heat itself. Some of the things you need to remember is the effective room temperature for air conditioning is 80, 68 to 74 Fahrenheit. So... You need to know the meaning of thermostat, thermoset, thermostatting, humidistat, or hygrostat. Uh, so, also, alam niyo yung parang pag pumasok kayo sa mall, merong parang air na bumubuga from above, from above the door. So, ang tawag doon is air curtain, so they might put that in the exam. Yeah, and then sa air conditioning system. So, you need to know the common refrigerants. So, Freon. Yan, it is a re reason for tremendous growth of residential air conditioning system. It's low toxicity. It's non-flammable. And, kaso, it has, it has effects to the environment. It contributes to the o ozone depletion. So, so minsan gamagamit tayo ng alternatives to Freon. So, ito sila. Gen Genetron AZ20, SUVA410A, and Puron. So, ang components ng refrigeration are evaporator, compressor, condenser, and refrig refrigerant metering device. So, ito yung the meaning ng mga yan. The evaporator is it's taking up the external heat and produce producing cooling on compressor the compressor is the heat is the heart of the refrigerator system and then the condenser it rejects both sensible and latent heat from the refrigerator system yeah so types of air conditioning Run time window type system split type system and multi type system so ayan yung itsura nila Papakita ata. I think I remember papakita yung picture ng aircon. Ano? Tas you have to guess. Mano yun? Tas that aircon, cooling tower, split type, and window type. I think this is easy. Kasi parang we see this every day around us. So, kaya na natin differentiate yan. And then, just know the meaning of ACCU, air cooling condensing unit. ACC, air cooled condenser. ACWC, air cooled water chiller. And then just know the 
terms such as centrifugal compressor, humidity, relative humidity, thermostat, latent heat, sensible heat. Yeah. You can take note na lang from this uh, this discussion. I also put here the meaning of conduction, convection, and radiation. For the and then ito yung mga types of uh, air cassettes. And then, ito yung diagram ng elevator and its parts. So, you can also research this. Know the parts kasi baka mag-identification. And I think that's it for the mechanical system. Yun na yung important stuff that you need to remember. So, I'll give you three extra questions. Your bonus questions for this part. So, question number one is what is... What is the height of the dumb waiter? Question number two. What is the minimum clear height of a mechanical room? I mentioned that earlier. And then number three. What is the effective room temperature in air conditioning? Nandun din yan sa discuss ko kanina. So, I think yun na yun. Um, that's pretty much it for BT. So, I have to say now, Pinaka maraming part don is yung plumbing. So, fo mas damihan yung focus don. The next is electrical. And then, equal parts na si lighting, si acoustics, and si mechanical. So, just take note of what I've said. Kasi madalas, yun ang lumalabas talaga sa ibang board exam, previous board exam. So, might be the same in your case. So, that's it. Uh, thank you so much for listening to my discussion. I hope naging helpful ako sa inyong architectural journey. And um, another tip sa inyo is pray. Keep praying to God. And wag niyong kakalimutan to thank Him for this opportunity na kapag architecture board exam kayo because not everyone is blessed to have this opportunity. So, Thank God for it and praise Him. And then, ayun, kaya natin to, guys. Pasa natin to. And also, if you want some other tips for plumbing board exam, you can message me on my Facebook or Instagram. Tapos, ayun, I think I might send you some reviewers and tips kung ano bang kailangan aralin for that board exam. So, yeah. Good luck, guys, and God bless. Thank you so much.